Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's twice weekly news update show, where we've got all you need to know about what's going on in tennis. I'm Ted Leepak, and I'm serving you Tennis Now. Milos Raonic is looking good in Barcelona. He's lanky, has a big serve, and knows how to play on clay. In the round of 16, the Canadian beat Nicolas Almagro 6-3, 6-3. And then in his match today, he crushed some big forehand winners and put Andy Murray down in style as he won 6-4, 7-6. David Ferrer beat Feliciano Lopez after splitting the first two sets in tie breaks. Before Ferrer finished off an exhausted Lopez 6-7, 7-6, 6-3. The king of clay, Rafael Nadal, had an easier win today over Janko Tipsarovic as he downed him in straight sets 6-2, 6-2. And Fernando Vardasco advanced today as well when Kini Shikori retired due to an injury midway through the first set. In Stuttgart, Victoria Azarenka had her toughest match of the tournament yet as she battled with Germany's Mona Barthel on court. After losing a disappointing tiebreak in the second set, Azarenka toughed out a long third set to finally defeat Barthel 6-4, 6-7, 7-5. Agnieszka Radwanska continued her winning ways, beating Lina 3-6, 6-2, 6-3. Radwanska will play Azarenka next. Maria Sharapova beat out Sam Stozer and moves on to play Petra Kvitova in the next round after Kvitova defeated Angelique Kerber. Novak Djokovic has been an enormous influence on the tennis world and the ATP Tour for several years. Now Time Magazine has acknowledged Djokovic's importance to the whole world. Djokovic was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world recently, hailed for his renowned sense of humor, exquisite baseline shot making, and mental toughness. Djokovic is one of three athletes to join the list, joining NBA point guard Jeremy Lin and the New York Jets quarterback Tim Tebow. K-Swiss Incorporated announced that it has entered into a $35 million loan with Wells Fargo Bank. The loan will be used to pay off the balance of approximately $9.9 million under the company's existing credit with Bank of America, and it will provide the company with additional working capital for corporate purposes, including the purchase of inventory. That's it for us, and remember to check us out at TennisNow.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. As always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.